I'm very happy because the tag hire <laughs> went into the room and then he's like, I got the next two wins. So I do hope. I do, yes. Oh, and he's already down. Did you find carbon right away? There oh, he's not. Go. Good he's done giving Dory a chance. Oh, you should take that medium, though. Good job. Yep. He saw the spot and just went for it. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I think, I think Freak too. is going to take it. I think Freak is just going to go right here. Um. I like, really want to see Freak throw down Dorian. expansive right where he did. Oh, nice. I think that, that was. Oh, like, he's doing this strategy, though. I don't know how this is going to work. I've seen him do this before. Three iron. I don't know well, how yeah, it's going to go. What he likes to do is go three uh, three metal mines, and then once he has enough metal iron, he'll switch it to three steel bells. That's what he's a believer in right now. What do you yeah. think of that? I think that if your opponent catches you doing that and manages to jack up the price on aluminum enough, you might have a bad day. Yeah. But, I mean, it could work. It could work. It, it does have this nice advantage of all of his t tiles are getting a large number of iron coming in right now, right? It's just... I worry it'll put him too far behind. Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't need those iron tiles later on. If he builds up this nice huge stockpile, maybe it works. It's really interesting. Yeah. But it is a bit of an awkward play, for sure. See how quickly he's built it up. He's already at 230 uh, iron. I mean, yeah, I mean coming, it's, it's coming at 9 a second. That's mm -hmm. insane. That's, that's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous amount of iron. I will hand it to him. The black I, mean, I think his steel mine mills and, iron, and metal mines are both built with iron. So you're not really, you know, you got plenty of iron to delete those buildings and rebuild them at will. That's not a problem. Yeah. Carbon scrubbing. This is our interesting one to come in so early. We need that. Yeah, this is interesting. Neither player robotic, <laughs> which I think is actually huge for carbon scrubbing. Yeah. We can start with scavenger, but so far we haven't seen chemicals or electronics be a huge factor. In yeah. Without a robotic player, chemicals or sorry, electronics generally don't go very high, and chemicals I rarely see get too high in a one v one because the patent lab and the engineering yeah. lab can be so difficult to make work. Sixteen is a stretch, I think. That I think is a definite stretch for carbon scrubbing. Yeah, Sagor is getting a, is already at level two. Getting a geo out, I think that's great. I hope he knows uh, to protect it because going for the some freak nearby is gonna, silicon. Is gonna get I'm not so sure about that. I think he should get some water. Does he have some water already? Well, I don't know. See, the thing is, there's no great <laughs> water on the map, but there are four water tiles. Like the best water tiles, there are four of them. Yeah, there's plenty of high water. There's so plenty he knows of high water. Exactly. And he knows that Dorian is not going to be stealing his his high water. Or I mean, he mm -hmm. could, but. Actually, Dorian does do like that. Yeah. And none of them even have like potentially great slant drilling play by having another wa water tile that's like just off enough. Yep. I mean, the best is maybe that one in the top right, but even that, that's really hard to use. Probably not even worth considering. I, l I love this. This is fantastic. This is excellent. Oh, we got power surged. Got power oh, well, surged. And, then, and there's a steel short. Oh, uh -huh. I mean, the tough, the tough thing about a power surge is not losing the iron, but that he can't rebuild those tiles. Exactly. And he correctly went for the power surge. That was a very good move. Mm hmm. Well, this is interesting. I mean, he's going to have the, that stockpile of iron, right? But yeah, he, he's going to get to level three before Mohawk and before Free gets to level two is my prediction. Well, he can do it now if he wants. I would be a little bit surprised if he Oh, he already it. has it. Yeah, he's got he can do it immediately. Hey, mutiny. Who got mutiny? I believe the players have traded mutinies at this point. Freak went ahead, spent 4,000 on that power, on that Geo. I think that was a huge mistake out of Freak that he absolutely could not afford. Sagire just takes it right back, and then a power short comes in. 4,000, you mean 4,000 or 6,000? Well, Freak spent the 4,000, and okay, Sagire, Sagire spent 6,000. 6, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, with looks like we got energy short. Did he do that before or after the energy? Of course, Sagire may have known about the energy shortage ahead of time. He is scavenger. He may have. He may have mutinied it back in preparation for that energy shortage. Yeah. Well, I know I got great use out of being getting those, hearing about those events early in my game earlier. It's um, such a were, great feature for yeah, Scavenger. There were quite a few shorts that I bought into early. Wow, Sagar actually committing to another geotherm tile. I'm a little worried about that. I don't mm -hmm. know if he needs to be doing that right now. For one thing, steel is extremely expensive. It's going to be quite expensive, potentially, for Freak to move into that geotherm. He's going to be sacrificing a large number of resources, or at least a large value of resources, to make it happen. <coughs> and for another, there's a third geotherm right there, yeah, right next to not, him. Yeah, he's not, he's not monopolizing. He's well, just... now he can. Oh, wow. It's... That's... Interesting. I mean, it's power, right? Like, I, I, 
Wow. They're overbidding on this. Yeah. I mean, Zorian can still build power if he wants to. Mm -hmm. So, and beyond that, with two geotherms, unless Saigar stops selling power, you know, that price is going to That is crash. what I would love to see him do. He's got power yeah, monopolized. I His agree. opponent can't get any up. I want to see him stop selling it. Yeah, right a lot of now. players don't, don't know about that option. It is a, it is yeah, a valid yeah, option in the two-player so game. Uh, we'll see if he, he pursues it. Man, freak. I don't know. This is... I would In love some to see ways. power surge immediately, like as soon as that steel. Oh, he just he just bought an EMP. We're gonna see those steel mills EMP uh, as soon as the third one finishes. Yep. Yeah. I'm surprised Freak hasn't bought a goon squad for one of those spots. Well, what with what money? I guess he can, money, He has yeah. enough steel now that he could sell it. He could sell the steel. He's got to know it's going to be coming. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Well, he's been made to pay for his uh, his his idea here. That's yeah, sure. this is my concern with it. Just if you're not upgrading quickly, that, <laughs> that immediate hit to level two is pretty important. You want to rush to it as fast as you can, because okay, yes, all of your tiles are extremely efficient, <clears throat> but they're pulling in a low value resource, and you only have three of them. Yeah. Well, the whole point, the whole counterbalance of the black market versus those triples is when you make a triple, you're vulnerable. And you know, early on, that's why it's nice to have a source of aluminum and a source of steel. You can so get that a in the worst, the glass in the worst case glass. situation, you can use one to buy the other. So the Sagar has, I think, decided at this point that he is just going to sell power. He's going to ride this out, and he's just going to end this game crazy fast, potentially. Yeah, yeah, that I could mean, that could work. The thing about Mohawk Free is that he decided to buy mutiny inside instead of buying a claim. Yep. I think the mutiny decision was awful. I think there was no reason for it, and it might oh. have been, like, the nail in the coffin that he built for himself with those three iron mines. You should be yep. proud of that. The funny thing about Saguar is right now, none of his resources are worth hardly anything. Oh, he's moving into steel! Nice! That's just <laughs> funny. <coughs> I like that. Oh, I like that. I think Dorian's going to learn a good lesson. The black market is online. <laughs> Well, oh, he's and he finally, he finally got the goon squad. Got up. the goon squad. Got the unfortunate bounce on the power surge. That's, yep, that's right. That's but right. Hey, wait, at least is, is the other one still EMP. Oh yeah, it's still EMP. Yeah. That was the EMP target. He goon squatted the one that was still. You know, wow, interesting. He may have thought that another EMP oh, would come down, and cool. that would be the tile that was targeted. Power actually stayed up a lot better than I thought it would this game, even with three <laughs> of it being dumped into the game a second, the black and the fact that Freak online. isn't actually consuming any almost ever. Yeah. I'd love to see him spend 4,000 on the claim, build a hacker A, or just delete one of his aluminum mines. Delete aluminum mine, build a hacker A, short power. It could be a really fast way to end the game. <laughs> Give him the claim. Drive up the price. You either get the claim or you, you know, just drive give him the claim and and nuke whatever he's, you know, on. Just dynamite it. You see, on two claims, what should you even do with these things? You need something that maybe a source of iron, because steel is going to be valuable. I mean, it's the most valuable resource on the map right now. So yeah, you know, he does need a source of, of iron. Well, I, I guess it's so bizarre as scavenger to say, hey, scavenger, you should claim two iron, but. I mean, it's not, it's not a crazy idea. Look at the geothermals that even touching it, which is not a bad well, idea. Well, Sagar has a weakness. None of his resources are worth anything. Well, water is worth something. Oh, and if he something. doesn't sell it, water's going to stay worth something. Not We're a huge not amount. But he's pulling in a lot of it. Yeah. And so a short on water could also be very powerful. Basically, he has two huge options for shorts <coughs> right now, in my opinion. Water and power. Either yeah. one of them, he could probably yeah. just ride to end the game. Yeah, but the, he, needs a, he needs a hacker, right? That would be a great move. I mean, he's probably going to win this game no matter what. Well, he has other <laughs> options. He can just move into a reactor. Some reactors, yeah. you know, use Do those. something with his water. All right, what's he doing? Is he building a, he's building a four steel he's mill? He's just committing four more to level. steel and then getting a little glass down. I don't know if I like... Okay, I, I'm not going to put it that way. Fun. I don't like the glass furnace. Sure. But I can understand... Silicon is super cheap. So, But I would have... I mean, I'd build the reactor first. I build a reactor first, a hacker array, and stop and he's selling using power. three water a second. He's not doing anything with it. Oh, oh man, he hit the steel mills again. Little and Dorian blew up the glass furnace? Come on, Dorian. A little too early on the steel mills, unfortunately. But if he had waited ten more seconds, that would have been a significantly more effective EMP. But... Whatever works. Yeah, the glass furnace, not a good target right now. Carbon costs nothing, silicon costs nothing, the glass furnace isn't making a huge amount of money anyway. And frankly, I like Freak's committal. I like his committal. 
to I need to use the black market, but oh, you yeah. kind of have to hit HQ level 2 at some point. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to think at this point. I mean, I've you, never won a game on HQ level 1. I've won right. on HQ level 2 plenty of times, but not level 1. You got three claims. He is going for some aluminum at $13. <laughs> I was that know. feels very... I would build farms or, or reactors and start buying water until you need to. Yeah, the reactors, I think, were the definite <laughs> option for what he would move into. That is the only thing I see that is a good decision for him to make. Yeah. And he didn't do it. I don't so know why the Aguar blew up his CL mills. Both players are kind of like wasting their dynamites. Yeah. This is sort of a... We maybe need, we need to make a PSA about dynamite. <laughs> Hey, Dynamite's only so good. This is my big concern for the Sagire, right? Like, Freak had this iron price go really, really high, but he had a big stockpile of it, so he can keep producing steel if he needs to, and not actually lose anything more than the opportunity cost of not being able to sell the iron. Whereas Sagire, all of these tiles are just running out of steam, and he's going to have to transition into something else very quickly. Yeah, well, he'll probably just delete those those steel metals. I mean, he can he can do that very easily, very easily. Yeah, but he drove up the price on <coughs> iron so much that it gives Freak this kind of potential yeah, to yeah, move exactly. back into the game. Yeah, that's I don't know I why Freak he, hasn't sold a bunch of this yet to actually make something happen. Yeah, and he's sitting on his claims basically. Yeah, he sold two claims, and he went for a silicon, which is strange. Yeah, it Maybe feels not very reactors. <laughs> Freak is acting like it's not day four at this point. Like yeah. he just hit HQ level two at the time he expected to, and yeah. he's not adjusting to the fact that, man, exactly. food's out of control. Water's pretty cheap. Silicon's kind of cheap. Fuel's kind of high. Energy <laughs> looks bad. Like he's got no energy production. And so as he gets all these buildings online, as he keeps these steel mills online, his stock price is just going to drop like a rock. Yeah, Segwar really needs to delete his steel mills. I mean, this is really money. starting to. He needs oxygen. He needs water. All right, and they're gone. Needs, yeah. Let's see some reactors. Segwar. Okay, and there we go. We're right on cue. Three reactors. All right, that should give him the legs to finish this game off. He can buy two shares of stock of Dorian right now. Um, and that'll that'll basically put it where there's, I don't think there's any way to come back. He has one more claim. I wonder what, oh, that's the Geo over there sitting. He has one more claim he could go PB Head, by the way, making a good point in chat that it's Sagire did use Dynamite earlier to clear away a goon, which I think was a fantastic decision mm, because okay. Dynamite was not worth a lot to either side. And it is possible <coughs> that if he was getting successful hits with Dynamites, he was just predicting goon squad locations. That's that's fair enough. For fair, follow fair up enough. Uh, Black Market later. Although I would have rather used the uh, uh, nuke in that situation because those spots had. Um, mm -hmm. Iron on them. And a nuke would have been actually amazing if it landed. Yeah. Right? Like, we do see a nuke did successfully hit the three iron tile. Not the right decision, in my opinion. That's actually, it's a tempting target. People sure. don't understand that the nuke's yeah. going to be more effective on the two. <coughs> yeah, for but sure. But it, it can work if he eventually gets around to hitting the two as well. Yeah, end of the day, though. Freak has plenty of iron. Iron is not going to be the issue here. Does he still? He's got. I guess he's sitting. Oh well, he's down oh, yeah. to zero now. So. Well, I guess, but he's got two. Um, you know, in a triple, he's got a medium and two lows. I mean, that's, that's fine. Well, the Sagar looks like has finally decided he is done toying with Freak, and he's going to try and finish up the game. All right. Well, we got a, we got a game three coming up then. That's fantastic. Six. I guess uh, Sagire meant it when he said on the Wendy's next to Yeah. <laughs> I like that the freak right now is freaking out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I am glad to see these reactors down, these farms down. I don't think the Sagire quite had to make all these transitions. <coughs> I think he could have finished it a long time ago with a bit faster play, but he is going to close it out before too long. So I can forgive him. 23,000 of the 30,000 that he needs. We're just waiting for this production to come on in. And the game I will see, end very soon. I see 100% right now. Yeah. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs>